Look who is on set with me right now. Put him on. Mm. That's mm. Mike Rowe. Hello, man. Oh, what a voice. <laughs> is that a bass or a baritone? Could be. Whatever, you know. You sometimes when I get excited, it, 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 it morphs into the tenor or what they call a martin. But for the most part, when I'm trying to be taken seriously, I let it kind of fall down wherever it lands. And down it goes. Down the voice. By the way, euthrilities, th I'm thinking, Ooh. could be a little PR spin I like that. on the otherwise staid non-exciting utility sector. Okay, let, let's, let, let's get on with what we're here for. Uh, you said something interesting about four-year college degrees. You say they are shameful, or yeah. they are seen mm. as shameful. That's right. strong stuff. Well, I just mentioned PR with regard to utilities. That's what I was talking about with degrees. I'm not saying that there's anything inherently shameful about getting one, but I do think from a PR standpoint, something really interesting has happened. I've been talking about it for a long time, but in higher ed, everything is based on the perception of value around the credential. Sure. And that perception is tied very specifically to the belief that it makes you knowledgeable. You get the degree, it's a reflection of your intellect, your wisdom, your knowledge. Right. I think that's over. I think that connection no longer exists in the minds of many millions of parents. I think they're starting to see the degree as a thing you purchase in a very transactional way, mm -hmm. in the same way that I believe a lot of universities have come to see their students as consumers. And so what's gotten arbitraged, if you will, out of the whole conversation is the actual knowledge that you would assume comes with the degree. <laughs> we were mentioning earlier, you know, right, not to pick on Harvard, but in 1955, the average GPA among the graduates was 2.55. Today, it's 3.8 percent. What? The, I mean, look, I don't get an A. A lot of people are getting A's. A lot of legacies are going through. We just saw the president being defended by the Harvard Corporation over 50 counts of plagiarism. We saw the anti-Semitic thing. Put it all together. And you find a lot of alumni not only holding back on donations, but they're taking their degree off of the wall, frankly, because they're tired of talking about this. That's a PR problem. And if higher ed doesn't take it seriously, the chickens will come home to roost. To me, the big breakdown in, in higher education came during the pandemic. Mm. When the schools were closed, the kids had to mask up. They didn't go. They lost the university experience. I think the breakdown in higher education started then. You with me? New York University raised its tuition during Zoom classes. At some point, you've got to look at the people who are paying the bills. It's almost like they're being dared, right? It's like, what, how, how much further will it go? Meanwhile, in my little tiny world, we offer work ethic scholarships for kids who want to learn a skill that's in demand. Hmm. The foundation's never been more robust. We're giving away another million dollars at the end of the month for these kinds of scholarships. They're not sexy. They're like euthrilities, Mark, right? They're just, <laughs> they're is... there. But welders, steam fitters, pipe fitters, heating, air conditioning, electric, our country is built on those things. Yep. Whether they're sexy or not, the opportunities exist. There's a path to six figures, and it's shorter than you think. Shop disappeared from high school, well, didn't disappear, but shop was downgraded in high schools many, many years ago. Oh, yeah. When the universities wanted a more, uh, what's the word, intellectual, academic education? Look, this to is... put them into the universities? We need, uh, higher ed needed better PR in the 70s because we needed more engineers and we needed more doctors and we needed a lot of that. Unfortunately, the PR that came with the push for that came at the expense of the careers we're talking about. In other words, they weren't content to simply make a case for higher ed, they made it by saying, if you don't go in this direction, you're screwed. If you don't go in this direction, you're gonna wind up under a house welding or some crazy thing. That was dumb, and the unintended consequences of that are this, yeah. skills gap. Yeah. Giant skills gap, 11 million I, open jobs. But I get the impression that things are changing. Not many corporations, well, some corporations no longer uni require a university degree. And more and more people are realizing you can make $100,000 a year as a plumber or electrician once you've got a couple of years of experience under your belt. Right? Uh, final thought on PR, because it matters. Big study recently released asked Americans to rank the 50 most important things next to the 50 things that they think people find most important. On the list of the most important things, a four-year degree was number 47, <laughs> almost at the bottom. On the list of things that people believe other people find important, it was number three. 
How about the that? collective illusion surrounding the primacy of a four-year degree is tipping. And when it falls, it's going to go splat. And when that happens, you're going to see a whole other conversation emerge around the jobs that actually exist today. In England, college courses are three years. Tepper, what do you feel about a four-year degree course? Uh, we should get them done in two years. That'd be even better. But look, I mean, to, to Mike's point about college degrees, you know, if it's an engineering degree or a, a medicine degree, those, in my opinion, still have positive ROIs. They have value. But if you're going and you're doing ancient philosophy or art history, not much value there. Um, I, I think like the disdain towards college degrees really came about when Biden tried to, to pass through his student loan forgiveness plan at the expense of the welder, the plumber, the H HVAC guy. Like that is when people really started to look at this and say, this isn't cool. You know, I, I didn't go to college I, and, and I got to pay for these people who did go. Okay, I'm out of time. I'm sorry, Mike. I'd love to have your voice on for a few more minutes, but I'm out of time. Tepper, thank you very much indeed.